Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Wendy Valdez Garcia. And for those of you who do not have any idea at all of who I am or who I was, in 2005, I was Binibining Pilipinas Tourism and first runner-up. With candidate number one, Wendy Valdez. And then, uh, 2006, I joined Pinoy Big Brother Season 2. Let's go, Pinoy Big Brother Season 2! First big racer, Wendy Valdez! Along with that, I got a lot of name tags. Marami pong tinawag sa akin nung time na yun. And at uh, the big night, Sa Araneta Coliseum, I got booed. Booed the whole night. So every time they will hear my name, maririnig niyo po yung boo boo. Kasi um, I was also called the uh, most hated housemate at that time. Once again, kumoto na kayo kung sino ang karapat dapat maging big winner ng Pinoy Big Brother. Lahat ng maisip niyo ang masasakit na pwedeng abutin ng isang isang babae na masasakit na salita you name it I got them before so why? bakit? Um, at that time po kasi I was very very self-centered very insecure I had a lot of unforgiveness in my heart a lot of bitterness anger issues I have felt rejected because I came from a broken and dysfunctional family. I've seen my parents um, fight in front of me when I was a when I was a kid. I've witnessed um, them separating, and um, I saw all the hurt um, a mom can ever have. And because I was the eldest, I witnessed. All of that and because I was young I did not know how to process so I felt very unloved very very insecure then when I joined Pinoy Big Brother season 2 I was very very excited I thought to myself um, I wanted to become an actress I wanted to be in the limelight because I thought when you are in the limelight people just automatically loves you and accept you um, not to mention, I also like acting. I also became the breadwinner of the family because of that. Because I'm the eldest and my family needs me. So it was a very, very um, good opportunity for me. And I really, really wanted it. Inside the house, you know, I'm... Lumabas po lahat ng issues ko sa sarili ko. Um, all my hurts, all my pain, all my bitterness came out. All my insecurities came out. Um, it's funny to some, but when um, when I got nominated <laughs> by my by my girls there, I was so offended. And it's funny now because if you think about it, it's a show where you get nominated, so that's part of the game. And it was not a sport. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I took it very personally. I thought, you know, well, maybe they don't really love me. I also experienced uh, bullying before. I got abused. I got bullied. And at one point in my life, I said, you know, I'm alone. And there's no one to defend me. So I have to learn to defend myself. And fight battles in this world and I only have me so I need to learn how to fight I need to learn how to be strong I need to learn how to um, to hurt people the way they hurt me and I thought I was being strong but it was all of a sad because I was very very weak and insecure and so yeah, I 
I didn't listen. Um, I spoke words, hurtful words to my um, to my girls there to hurt them back. And people watched it and of course they didn't like it. And so I got what I deserve from people and they and they said really mean things to me and they hated me but at least there are some people who who love me and accepted me and they like me actually and they voted for me that's why I came out as a third big placer oh di ba kahit na ganun uh, place pa ako but I believe it's just the, the grace of God, you know, that I I was part of the big four. And so, yeah, at, at the big night, I got booed. A lot of people wanted to throw stuff at me. As in, they told me in Araneta that they want to, um, that they held some people because they want to throw kamatis or whatever they have. <laughs> Marami daw silang na-confiscate. After that, I got my my dream of of becoming an actress, but I was still very very empty and sad. And what I thought, the fulfillment that I thought that I would get from from getting those dreams that I've had, I was still miserable, if not more miserable than I was before. So I was doing shoots and I was just lost. I was as foggy as I was before. I was like a zombie, you know, just moving through the motions of life, not knowing where to go. I did not have a purpose. I did not have a goal. I, I don't know what I was here for and there were a lot of times even before I became an actress that I wanted to just die I tried committing suicide and even after I became an actress I was earning money I have a relationship and I still I still didn't want to keep going. I didn't think I was meant to be here. And while I was going through the motions of life, just doing whatever I want, at some point, a random guy in Palawan who mentioned to me about Jesus, he was so passionate about it. And, you know, I, I, I've heard and I know of Jesus before, but there was something about his passion of talking about Jesus like that, that, you know, made a mark in my heart. So one day I just decided to visit a church that um, some people I know were mentioning to me. The first, the first sermon that I heard, I felt like it was directly uh, being spoken to me. So I attended church, but while I was doing so, I was still living the way I wanted and just doing my old ways of life. And then one day, I got to the edge of everything. I felt like everything was falling apart around me, my relationship, myself. I was just so broken and tired. And I just kept making wrong decision after wrong decision and I just said to myself I'm just so tired of living for myself like this and so Lord I want to I want to give my life to you this time sincerely and I just want to surrender everything and just follow you and I repented of, of my sins and for living selfishly 
for living for myself for a very long time. Looking for the wrong things to make me happy, to find fulfillment. And that was actually the first time where I didn't have any relationship. And you know, for the first time, I felt alive. I felt like I, I had a purpose and I had a reason why I'm here. And that God has plans for me and I should keep going. It was so different. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. And you know what I realized? I I wanted to die, but there's someone who died for me. So that I can have a new life. <laughs> Bagong buhay na hindi ko inakala na mayayari pa sa akin. And, and if Ishans wanted to, I have learned that. I have gained new names. God said that Accepted. I am chosen. I will never be forsaken. I am loved. I am God's masterpiece. I have a purpose. I am made to glorify my God and my Creator. There are things that God has prepared for me to do in this life, to serve Him and to serve others. And now I can live for Him. I can live for others and not just for myself. And His love made me to become a person that I never thought I would become. And I started attending Bible groups, Bible studies, and fellowshipping with, with other believers and other people who are just so passionate to talk about Jesus. I can't stop talking about Jesus. I was still struggling with some of my emotions, my sins, but I just kept going because Jesus promised that He will finish what He started in me and He will keep transforming me. As long as I stay beside Him and I trust Him, and keep holding on to Him and His promises. And so I enjoyed, I enjoyed reading the Bible and I enjoyed attending events where where they talk about Jesus and listening to testimonies and watching videos about him. It was a total totally different me. I'm a new creation in Christ and I believe that with all my heart because Jesus said it. Because God said it, and I hold on to that promise. And by God's grace, I I was blessed with a husband and a family of my own. And He gave me such a beautiful gift in my son, Seth. He's a special needs child. And to some, they think that he is a punishment <laughs> or I'm being punished. That's why he's like that because of how I was. And I, I do not believe that's true because every time I look at him, every time I hug him, 
I just can't help but thank the Lord for giving me an opportunity to become a mother to someone like him. So much as beautiful as him. He, he has turned me into a mom that I never thought I would become. You know, taking care of him, going to the doctors with him, and wanting to be stronger, so physically, emotionally, to be able to help him in his journey. And even the great opportunity of being able to encourage moms like me who are going through the same difficulty is something that far beyond my imagination can ever reach and so I went deep on this a new creation in Christ. A sinner saved by grace is very pleased to, to ask you to join me in this journey and to thank the Lord for this opportunity um, to be able to share my life with you, with Jesus, to share how how my son and his disability is encouraging me every day, making me stronger, stretching my faith at its fullest, and to share the journey of my family and what we go through and how we can have joy and peace despite our circumstances. And I want to use this platform um, to encourage people, moms and women like me, um, who may have gone through the same struggles as I did, and um, who's having difficulties with with having having a special needs child, or you know you want to give up, or you're so tired of of having problems. I may not have all the answers, but I know that the Lord could help me to to help encourage people like me, to help encourage women like me. And so I did this channel. I opened this channel. And, you know, before I'm also very, very lazy. But now that I know that I have a purpose, I want it to be strong. And so I'm doing workouts as well at home. And I want to share those to you as well so that you can work out with me and be strong. I want also to be strong so that my son would see that um, and would would be inspired to, you know, to work out with me someday <laughs> and um, maximize whatever body parts he can use. I would also share to you um, my journey with my son, my husband, and our family. We are also able uh, and blessed by the Lord to travel every now and then. And if God will allow it uh, someday, again, <laughs> after all this, I would also want to share some travel tips to you guys. Because I would also want to share about the chores that I do at home. Um, maybe I can do a house tour, but that would only take maybe two minutes or three. The ani ko lang sa chika, kasi hindi naman sabre lang yung bahay namin. So yun. But yeah, if you have any suggestions and anything that you want to talk about, and any um, anything that you can think of, you can send it to me. You can comment down below and. If you have gentle reactions and kind suggestions, you can just mention that below. And if you think that you can and you want to join this journey with us, 
um, you can hit the subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and I hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you.